Hey everybody, it's Farmish Life in 5, another update on what's been happening on the homestead. Today is Friday, April 23rd. Let's see what's been going on. Y'all, I've got a problem. Something's killing my chicks. The last few mornings when I've come out to do chores to the spot where we have the Cornish cross chicks and the turkey poults, there have been dead Cornish cross chicks that have had their insides pulled out. Their heads are still attached, their wings are still attached, the legs are still, everything's there, but like their belly has been eaten out. Not cool. 10 years on the homestead, never had this problem before. So my sweet husband took one of our Wi-Fi security cameras and put it in here so we can watch what's going on with these chicks at night. Some people have said it's maybe rats, some people have said it's a weasel. I don't know, but we're gonna figure this out. We moved it a little bit. Now we can watch it on the phone and it'll record, yeah? Mm-hmm. Then we can go back and watch. You messing with the wrong people, predator. Today I wanna to talk to you about the gentle art of compromise. My children have told me that they want to learn how to drive a stick because all the cars they want are super old cool cars that are all manual transmission. We don't have a manual transmission vehicle, except for the tractor, but. On the other hand, I always said that when my children were big enough that they had their own vehicles and I didn't have to haul them around everywhere anymore, I wanted to go back to driving a Chevy HHR. <laughs> Where are we gonna find one of those we can afford? Through the magic of Facebook Marketplace, we found a really awesome HHR that's a manual that was in our price range. Paid cash. <laughs> but here's the thing I forgot to tell you. I don't really know how to drive a manual transmission. So now I'm the proud owner of a Chevy HHR that I have to learn how to drive. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is wash it because that's what I know how to do. You are never too old to learn new things, friends. Let that be a lesson to you. Adventures in Amy learning to drive a stick, coming shortly. Isn't this great? Look at this grill. You guys, this is pretty awesome. Let's see what we have in here today. Oh, I see he left the, the tongs on there. Pork chips. Mmm, looking good. Look how much food we can fit on there. Isn't that amazing? I love this thing. It's awesome. Even though the weather is weird this year, technically I guess it is spring. And there is something I'm so excited to eat when it's springtime. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, obviously, Amy, it's rhubarb. Rhubarb. And I love me some rhubarb, but there's something else. And you probably didn't know that you can eat this. It's hiding in here. Under here, let's find it. Are you helping? You're helping. You know what those are down in there? Those are hostas. Did you know you can eat hostas? You totally can. I learned this tip from my pal over at Practical Self-Reliance. I think it was. Wow, you guys are being super helpful. So basically you just wait till they come up out of the ground that far um, and you cut them off and then you saute them in a cast iron pan with like butter and garlic and it's amazing. You have to eat them before they start like uncurling and you know getting bigger. So when they're still like little shoots they're so good. Every variety tastes different. The kind that we have tastes a little bit like asparagus. Eat your hostas. Unless you spray stuff on them, don't eat your hostas then. Just like dandelions. Ooh, dandelions will be here soon. I am so excited. So here's a really weird thing about being a homesteader that people don't tell you about. You have chicks dying and you can't figure out why they're dying. You put up a camera and then nothing's dying. It's like the thing is camera shy. Now here's the thing. I don't want any more chicks to die. Thank you for not killing any more chicks, but I want to know what was in our coop. I need you to show up on camera, but like not kill any chicks. Could you do that? Homesteaders are so weird. 
So that's what's been happening on the homestead. If you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little dingy bell so you get notifications of when I'm putting content out. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will talk to you again soon.